Let's start learning. Hey there, everyone. Today we're going to take a look at something called the identity property. There is an identity property for all four mathematical operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. What is a property in a mathematical operation? A property in a mathematical operation is something that is true always for that operation. For example, we talked a while back about the commutative property of addition. This means that no matter what order you add the add-ends together, the sum will always be the same. Because this is true for all addition all of the time, it's called a property of addition. Here's an addition sentence. 5 plus 0 equals blank. Because we added 0 or nothing to the 5, the original addend does not change. Because we added 0 or nothing to the 5, the sum is 5. 0 is called the identity element in addition. Subtraction also has an identity property. Remember our number labels in a subtraction number sentence? The number subtracted from is the menu end. The number subtracted or taken away is the subtrahend. And the answer is called the difference. Here's a subtraction number sentence. 13 minus 0 equals blank. Since we are subtracting 0 or nothing, our original number does not change. The difference is 13. 13 minus 0 equals 13. 0 is the identity element in subtraction. Multiplication also has an identity property. It works a little differently from addition and subtraction, though. Huh? Here's a multiplication number sentence. 12 times 1 equals blank. Remember, the numbers we multiply together are called factors, and the answer is called the product. Multiplication involves adding equal groups. 12 times 1 tells us we have one group of 12. One group of 12 is 12. Our product is 12. 1 is the identity element of multiplication. And last, division has an identity property too. Let's go over what our numbers in a division number sentence are called. The number that is being divided is the dividend. The number that the dividend is being divided by is the divisor. And the answer is the quotient. Just like in multiplication, we are dealing with equal groups. In division, however, we are breaking a number into equal groups. Here's a division number sentence. 9 divided by 1 equals blank. We're dividing 9 into equal groups of 1. Here's what we come up with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 equal groups of 1. 1 is the identity element of division. Let's review. Let's review what we've learned today. There is an identity property for all four mathematical operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. A property in a mathematical operation is something that is true always for that operation. The identity property means that when something is added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided to a number, the answer will always be the original number. Each operation has an identity property. Let's start with addition. Zero is called the identity element in addition. Anytime zero is added to any number, that number does not change. Subtraction also has an identity property. Zero is the identity element in subtraction. Anytime zero is the subtrahend in a subtraction number sentence, the difference is the same as the menu end. Multiplication also has an identity property. One is the identity element of multiplication. Any number multiplied by one gives us the original number. And last, division has an identity property too. One is the identity element of division. 
any dividend divided by one will always give us the same number. Nice work, everyone. Parents, teachers, and homework helpers, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. A like will really help the channel, so please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care and remember, it never hurts to be nice. <laughs>